The Twilight Saga, New Moon. And hooray, we have color. There's color and lighting, and we can actually tell who's a vampire and who's not. The first 20 minutes are a breath of fresh air. I actually really liked the first 20 minutes of New Moon. It started out on a great foot, and it even had a moment where Edward gets out of a car and just walks in slow motion like this. And he's looking all sexy and stuff. And that was great. And then he does the Edward thing. I'm a monster. I'm too dangerous, Bella. My family and I have to go away. And they have this whole thing and his family leaves. And Bella's very, very sad. So sad she stares out a window for, I think, four months or something crazy like that. It's, it's not actually four months. It's like this weird time loop thing where she spends a lot of her time staring out a window because she's sad. And we get to feel how sad Bella is because she just craves so much attention from Edward. She wants to know that he's still watching over her. So she figures out that if she puts herself in danger that Edward will appear to her telekinetically, I guess? I don't know. It's She kind of sees him as sort of an appar apparition and that's most of Edward's role in this movie is being like, Bella, don't do it. Stop, you're going down a dangerous path. I'm sorry, it's just... Bella comes off as a very selfish character. And I get it. I get it. Breakups are tough. I've been through my fair share. And the thing is, they make us grow. But the biggest problem I have so far with this series is the characters start in a place, and by the end, they're in the same place they were. And, and, and here's what I mean. We're, we're going to get to that. So Jacob kind of helps her out, and this is another sort of bright spot in the film. I actually really started to enjoy Jacob as a character. Yeah, the lines are still <laughs> delivered in that way that I love them to be delivered in, but it, it's likable enough. He kind of starts helping her get out of, out of a slump and uh, to help her move on of sorts, but she turns around and does something really, really stupid, like jumps on a dirt bike and crashes into a rock, and there is this shameless shot of Jacob just taking his shirt off to help her with her wound because she's got head trauma. But just like this, it's just this really tight shot of his abs. And admittedly, Jacob does have nice abs. I mean, um, I can see why people would enjoy that. Uh, I'm not like envious or anything. She starts to figure out stuff about Jacob too. And it, it turns out that Jacob is a werewolf and during this part of the movie where she is feeling figure out more of who he is and who he's related to that's another part of the film that I actually kind of liked was hearing more of the mythology in the background that the war between werewolves and vampires where there's there's sort of this this mutual treaty and understanding and that's sort of under the surface of the movie it's not a big part but it's it was enough to sort of catch my attention and the werewolves are actually kind of funny there's there's this great part where where Bella meets these other werewolf younger teens that are of course really muscular and they're all sitting around the dinner table eating, and they're they're all they're all shirtless. They they've got pants on and shoes, and one of them says, "Well, I guess the wolf is out of the bag," and that is one of my new favorite lines now. And they're just kind of like joking and stuff, and and having a good time, and that's. And again, it's kind of reminiscent of the baseball scene from the first one, where it's just like, it's this random, really funny scene that I'm just like, why couldn't we have more of this? Why is it so over dramatic? Why is there not fun in these movies? And then, while I was on Team Jacob, I was immediately ripped out and put in the middle again, where I can't be on either side, because Jacob turns into the same asshole that Edward was. This scene where he tries to convey to Bella that he's dangerous and a monster, like, gee, who does that sound like? I, I can only convey through showing a clip from the movie, so watch. Jacob. Whoa. 
What is going on? Listen to me, Bella. Remember that promise I made to you? The one where I said I'd never hurt you? Well, I have to break that promise in order to keep it. I'm a monster. You don't know me, Bella. I'm a wolf, a werewolf. And for some reason, my arms, they're smaller than what they used to be. But that doesn't matter. You're breaking up with me? It's raining. You should be going. I'm a monster, Bella. I'm no good for you. Goodbye. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like that. It's, she's in a nut, yet another relationship where the guy changes his mind every five minutes, where he, he's just, he's this, he's a bad boy. And I was just like, why is Jacob's character changing? I can almost forgive him because he's just now figuring out his powers, whereas Edward has had 70 years to figure that shit out. But he does something that's really, really messed up. He tricks Edward into thinking that Bella is dead. And what is Edward's immediate response? He asks the Vampire Council if he can kill himself. And they kind of sort of laugh at him and he decides that he's going to expose himself to, uh, I guess, the Vatican or whatever. Like, there's this big town square festival thing going on wherever the hell he, him and his family are held up at, and he's going to expose himself to the humans. Do you realize the problem here? So, not only is Edward endangering his family, but he's also endangering the rest of his people just for selfish reasons because he doesn't want to live anymore because he knows if he exposes himself the council will be have no choice but to kill him and of course bella finds out and immediately runs to his rescue and they're happy and they're together and yet they're in the same spot they were at the beginning of the movie where you you tell you can tell that they can't trust each other and Edward can't turn Bella, but Bella wants him to turn her, and it's just it's just the whole thing. It's they're in the exact same spot that they were in at the beginning of the film. However, I do like New Moon better than the first. Yeah, the characters are way more screwed up in this one, but it, at least they're not just simply, whoa, what is going on? What must that be like? It's, it's not just, they're not just boring. At least I can get angry at them. And the first one, I can, I'm just like, for the love of God, just let it be over. <laughs> Three more to go. This has been a lot of fun. It's, it's been everything that I could hope for and, and, and more. Uh, so Twilight, New Moon, have you read the book? Have you seen the movie? Comment below, let me know. Thanks as always for watching. Bye. What am I doing with my life? <laughs>